Now, if there's one thing that has completely transformed how I learned everything in med school, it's knowing how to study effectively. But when I was in my first year, I really struggled with studying for exams. And I would always cram everything until the night before. Because I used to think that if I started studying weeks ahead, I'd just forget everything by the time exam came around. But it turns out that wasn't a great idea. Because days and weeks after the exam, I couldn't remember anything anymore. So by the time finals came around, it felt like I was starting from scratch. Like I hadn't studied at all. But then on my second year in med school, I came across this book, Make It Stick, and it taught me a thing called space repetition. And after that, my grades massively improved because I remembered more information in much less time, and I wasn't staying up late anymore to cram. So I felt less burned out, and I had more time for myself in doing the things I love doing. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about what is space repetition, and why is it so effective? How do I do space repetition? And finally, why I don't do other popular methods like the retrospective timetable. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Carl. I'm a doctor from the Philippines. And on this channel, we explore study techniques and productivity tools to help us get better results in school and in life. Now, while cramming might help you remember information until the day of the exam, you'll often forget most of it immediately. So to better remember what you've learned, you have to space out your studying over time and actually allow yourself to forget some of the information you've studied, which might sound counterintuitive because why would you let yourself forget get something that you want to remember, right? But it turns out that if you do allow yourself to forget, the next time you review the material, obviously you'll struggle a bit more, but your retention of that information will be much better. And it is this effortful retrieval of information that will lead to better learning and retention. And basically, space repetition is just sort of the opposite of cramming. Now let's go to this example of how I apply space repetition to my studies, which helps me rank third in my physician licensure exam or PLE even though I only had three months to study for it back then. And actually, this is the same method I used to rank first in the internal medicine board exam or the PSBIM. But we're just gonna use what I did for my PLE. So first, I scope the subject. So when I took my PLE, which has 12 subjects and under each subject, there's several topics. What I did was I listed down all the topics I needed to cover and planned how much time to allocate for each of them. And next thing I did, I then decided to dedicate just two months to complete the first read through of each subject because I thought that on the last and third month, I decided to just use that for the second read through of the material. So eight weeks divided by 12 subjects that I had to study means I have four to five days for each subject. So I placed biochemistry on days one to four, anatomy on days five to eight, and so on. After I've gone through all 12 subjects over the first eight weeks, I went back to studying biochemistry again on the ninth week. And then I did this for the rest of the 11 other subjects. So basically I created a space of eight weeks in between repetitions of the subject of biochemistry. And by then, of course, I've already forgotten most of biochemistry, which is totally normal because that's just how the memory works. And obviously, remembering the information really required more effort and was very frustrating. But this approach actually helped me and will also help you remember more information for a longer period of time because it is that effortful retrieval which will encode information into your long-term memory and will also reduce the stress and anxiety of cramming the night before the exam but spacing out your study sessions alone isn't enough. Because one of the most common mistakes of students is yes, they do space repetition, but all they do during those sessions is to passively reread their notes or rewatch lecture videos. And that's not what you should be doing. Instead, you should be doing active recall like doing practice tests while doing space repetition. Because active recall is what you do and space repetition is how you do it. So they basically work together to make stronger neural connection and lead to better learning and memory of that information. Now, I know there are other methods of doing space repetition out there like retrospective timetable or prospective timetable. But personally, I don't do these methods mainly because it takes a long time to do. You have to first list down all the topics in a Google Sheet and then put in the date that you reviewed that topic. And for me, when I was studying for my PLE, I couldn't be bothered with trying to do all of those things because I think that the time that I'm gonna use for doing that is time that I'm not using in actually studying the material. So for me, it feels like 
procrastination disguised as productivity. But again, I'm not saying that it's a bad idea to use these methods. You can definitely use them while you're in med school where you have a lot of time or during clerkship or internship where the study hours are not very structured because you're going into your hospital shifts almost every day. So you need a way to keep track of the things that you're studying. But when you're studying for the PLE or any licensure examination and you just have three months, for example, I think you don't have enough time to do these methods or to go back to a certain topic in multiple spaced out sessions. So yeah, I think it's much better to just stick with a much simpler method that I just mentioned. Now that you know more about how to do space repetition, you might want to check out my video about how I do practice tests and it should be somewhere over here. Now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.